Kadarius Tony. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty interesting. <laughs> I was Man. not expecting that. They wanted they wanted to go after playmakers, Bobby. That's what they've been saying all offseason. You can never have enough playmakers. You can never have enough playmakers. Kadarius Tony, Bobby Skinner, you did a film breakdown on him. I did do a <laughs> thank God I did a film breakdown on the New York Giants play. Yep. All right. Woo! Let's talk about it. Um, now was he my best wide receiver on the board as far as as, as I would go right now? No, he isn't. He would actually he'd be I would go Diami, um, Rondale, but Rondale has very serious injury issues, and then Tony would be the third. He's five foot eleven, 189 pounds. Um, did not have a lot of action until this past year. He was kind of a utility player, never really saw the field. Um, had 70 catches, 984 yards, 10 touchdowns, 14 yards per catch, and even had some carries. He has to, He's going to have to be used in a creative way. When we can talk about that with Jason Garrett. Um, I I think his speed is like at that same level of Devontae Smith. He's not that burner that Jalen Waddle is, but if you watch him in the SEC championship against Alabama corners, he was burning those guys. His route running is based off speed. Like, he wins with speed. He gets your hips open, and he goes. Um, you put him in a double move, it's dangerous. Um, it's, he, and he even has some ability to, like, to snag up and leak. Um, they, they use him in different ways. Wow. Um, Kadarius Tony, man. And and to go with Kenny Galdick, it's kind of a little bit of opposites. Justin, yep. how are you feeling? You know what? Th- this is kind of funny how, you know, I wanted Jalen Waddle, right? I, I wanted Jalen Waddle. Um, as a guy that is that opposite player of Kenny Galladay. And I'm looking right now, you know, Darius Tony, he had a total of eight touchdown passes in 2020, a touchdown catches in 2020, four touchdowns from 20 plus yards. He was seven, seven completions on nine targets from 20 plus yards. Um, he had 20 uh, uh, missed tackles forced. That was fifth in the nation. Um, he had 784 slot yards. That was sixth in the nation. So Bobby, you know, we found our slot receiver, I would say, right? Yeah. That is going to be interesting to see where he plays year one. What happens with Sterling Shepard? Like, he's not like, but he can. He's going to play. Some, he'll have some outside reps. He is so kind this, of played before. So both. Yeah. So this reinforces that notion that Sterling Shepard. You know, even though we, even though his advanced stats of like low average depth of target and high catch rate, even though it all backs up that he's a slot wide receiver, it still backs up that you know that notion. The reality that Sterling Shepard is a much better wide receiver when lined up on the outside instead of the slot. So in a way, with the cutting of with cutting Golden Tate, you know, slot wide receiver was a need, and we just upgraded uh, K- uh, Golden Tate with Kadarius Tony. But okay, so starters week one, who do you think it is? Because I don't. Does she, what? Ha- I, do they put means, Shep on the outside over Darius Slayton? I I think it means more for Slayton than it does for Sterling Shepard. And 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 Darius Slayton as a guy that just comes in and there's a little bit of a rotation. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. So and with Saquon, this is a guy who can get some you know shots out of the backfield. You know what? You know how you know they've been bringing in some young minds on the offense and really putting people around Jason Garrett. I don't yes. think they grab Kadarius Tony if it's just still that Jason Garrett bland offense. I really do think they're going to try different things. A lot of motion with Tony using him and Saquon in the backfield at the same time. I think they're going to have to get really creative with this. They're going to have to get really creative with this because he does need to make an impact year one. This is a very interesting pick. He is not a cookie cutter player. He needs to be used in a, in a different way, but he, they call him the human joystick for a reason. He will make you look silly. Um, I'm, I'm excited about this. Yes. You know? Like I, I he, honestly, I wasn't thinking about any of the wide receivers, but I am excited about this. Yes, I 100% am too, and I'm excited to get more into him, learn more about him, um, see how Florida used him, especially since he had Kyle Pitts there too. Um, I'm looking at the little spray chart that was um, in terms of how many, uh, the percentage of routes that he ran and the percentage of targets that he received. And even though he didn't have a lot of catches from 20 plus yards, the percentage of targets that he did receive and the routes that he ran from plus from over 10 yards, it is above average. And it is in the red in terms of the um, how many routes he ran 10 plus yards and how many uh, targets he got from 10 plus yards too. So that, so that is encouraging. Definitely is encouraging. Anything else we need to say before we close out this little video, we're going to get, we're going to do some more homework on him. Um, check out the film breakdown. I'll put that in the little, that 20 second thing. Check out the film breakdown of Kadarius Tony. Very interesting pick for the New York Giants. Um, we'll have a podcast out in the morning. Um, so yeah, Kadarius Tony, how about that?